What's up guys, Coach Alex and Coach Sue here with Physique Development and today we are going to educate on the vertical neutral grip lat pull down. Before we get into the movement, we would love for you to subscribe to the YouTube channel and leave us a comment. Let us know what you had for lunch today. All right, the first thing that we have to do when we are getting set up for this movement is assessing our active range of motion. I'm gonna have Sue turn here and what we're going to do is raise the arm out in front of us. We're going to protract at the shoulder and then we're going to raise the arm as high as Sue can and you're going to find this position where she can't really move much further. At this point, we have a good understanding that the lat is going to be aligned with the lower portion in terms of our insertion point, which is going to be the iliac division of the lat. And so with this division, these are going to run vertically. And so when we're in the vertical plane and having the tension being applied in that manner, we're going to be perfectly aligned with that lower division. And so when Sue gets into the pull down seat, we're going to want her to maintain this arm angle when she sits down. Now that we have established her active range of motion, we'll have Sue go ahead and sit down in the pull down seat. And we will explain to you why we're going to utilize a neutral grip relative to a wide grip attachment that you may commonly see. So in the wide grip attachment, when we're driving those elbows back, this is going to be focusing more on protraction and retraction of the scapula, which is going to be mostly dictated by a lot of those muscle groups in the upper back, not as much of the lat. Now, are you getting the lat? Certainly, to an extent. But if we are more in a neutral hand placement and driving the elbows down in front of us and focusing more on depression of the scapula, we have a greater range of motion for the lats to be working through. So when we're training our clients, this is going to be the plane of motion that we're trying to work through and we've had great success when targeting the lats in more of the neutral position relative to the wide grip positioning. Okay, now that we understand why we're utilizing the neutral grip attachment, let's go ahead and get set up in this exercise. The first thing will be seat positioning. Now you'll see right now that Sue is at the front of the seat and if she was to raise her arms up, it would be very difficult to pull the handles down out in front of her. What we'll want to do is scoot back to the back of the seat while maintaining the ability to have your knees on the pad. From there, what we'll want to do is establish core stability. We don't want to have arching at the lower back. We want to maintain a neutral spine and keep the core contracted throughout the entirety of the movement. From there, Sue is going to reach up, grab the cables, drive the elbow and the upper arm down. And as she's pulling back, she's wanting to ensure that she's keeping her upper arm along her rib cage and keeping them very close to her sides. Because if we end up flaring out, comes back to that wide grip pull down that we talked about and it's going to be recruiting more of the upper back rather than biasing a greater degree of the lats. Now that we have learned how to set up and perform this movement, let's go over some common mistakes that we see within our one-on-one -on -one clients. The first mistake is going to be a very rigid retraction of the scapula prior to pulling. Now, what we want to happen here is just a smooth scapular movement through protraction and retraction as we're pulling down. But when this rigidity happens, it puts a lot of dysfunction on the upper back. The next common mistake is the client simply just pulling the cable straight down. We want to have that ability of having the elbows out in front of us to have a greater range of motion bias towards those lats. The third most common mistake that we see within our clients is the elbows being driven out rather than keeping the upper arm at their sides. This is going to bias more of the upper back relative to biasing more of the lat. If you don't have the prime short bar and rotate handles to perform this movement, we have a substitute for you. And it's gonna be the wide grip lat pull down bar. And then you're going to put the D handles over the bar and Sue will go ahead and show you how she's going to still perform that exact same movement while utilizing this piece of equipment. She's going to execute it the exact same way and I'm sure that your gym has some D handles and has the wide grip lat pull down bar. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, you're gonna love this video and love this video. And if you want more from us, check out our website at physiquedevelopment.com.